What's the crack lads and welcome to the channel whether you're a newcomer to the series or a veteran here are five things you need to know in eFootball's dream team. So we're going to kick off with the first one which is the event. So every week Konami actually give you a free spin of a free player of the week uh, that you can spin for free. All you have to do is pass and complete the tour event which recycles every week and it has done for the last couple of months and you will get your chance deal there which is a free player of the week spin all you have to do is either play the matches yourself you can you can change all the settings here no matter what difficulty it is pass that get the main reward and get your free spin next up we're going to go to game plan this is your main squad setup uh, for off the pitch when you're doing your team management and in here you can do a lot of cool stuff I still get a lot of questions about this that we're going to cover two or three things here so the first thing is the sub tactic this is a secondary uh, formation a secondary play style that you can flip on or switch on and off during the course of the match right so you can see here that we are playing this 4-2-3-1 but with our sub tactic when we choose this we're going to be switching to a 3-2-1-4 so the idea behind this is that when you are playing a match and you go a goal ahead, you can go defensive or whatever. You can switch up position that if your player or your opponent is man marking your striker, you can switch him to a left winger and move your left winger over to the right and stuff like that. There's a lot of variation with it. You can do it that way. You can do it defensively. You can do it attacking. You can do it to hold on to a lead. You can, you know, put three at the back. You can put five at the back. All you have to do is press down on the d-pad hold down on the d-pad in game and then to, to put it back to your default you just hold down on the d-pad again and you'll see a little icon pop up on the bottom of the screen doing it so all you have to do is hold down on the d-pad and that will switch between your sub tactics and it's a really really nice thing to have in your arsenal if you are looking to kind of get into your opponent's head because you can switch from a three at the back to you know five at the back very easily without having to press start we also have in this menu the ability to change player squad numbers. So that's a very simple thing to do as well. And the player squad numbers have to be changed for every squad. It doesn't carry over per squad unless you base copy the squad. Next up, we've got the training menu. A lot of people sleep on this training menu, lads. I definitely think if you're not scoring 75% of your free kicks, I would definitely be heading into the training menu, picking the player that you have in Dream Team. They're going to have their base stats from offline mode. So Neymar isn't going to be like 100 overall. He's going to be like 85 or 6. But you will still be able to get a feel for the players and their abilities and how they take uh, certain freeze, penalties, whatever you want to try out. And then last but not least, we do have one more thing that we want to show you. We have two more things that we want to show you. Um, we've got a bonus one as well. So when you are actually searching for players and you want a specific player that you're looking for, um, the in-game search menu is a little bit, I would say a little bit kind of uh, limited, right? So I use eFootballDB.com. The boys are still working on it. It's 100% community driven, run by uh, the community. And it's going to be really, really nice as time develops, right? So you can search any filter that you want here. You can search height, you can search specific skill, you can search a mixture of everything. So if you want just a player that is under 23, that has all these stats and has all these player skills, you can search that. And you can just search a lot of different stuff as well. And then last but not least, lads, we do have the players uh, jerseys, right? So this is something I get asked quite a lot. Uh, probably one of my most asked questions along with the sub tactic. So if you go into your my team and you go into your my strips, you will see your current strips that you have. So you'll notice our first and second jerseys here they are the Spanish ones, right? So to change this, you just go back out to extras, you go over to user information, you go to edit dream team, and then you click your base team, and then you pick whichever base team you want the kits of. So for us, it's Ajax here. We're going to choose Ajax, and then when we go back to look at the kits, we are going to have... Ajax's kits so we've changed from Spain to Ajax so you will see there that we've now got a third kit as well so we've got home away and third and also as well as that this is where your special edition kits are as well now you unlock these by buying the premium packs which we'll show you in a second but I have bought the Manchester United premium pack and the Japanese premium pack so these premium packs are available here for 1500 coins in the packs layout here so these ones for the 1500 come with special jerseys. So the Japanese one I've already bought. You saw that jersey. If you buy the Brazil or Argentina one, you'll get it. And then there was also ones released before as well. So you will see here that the claimed rewards, as well as all the players, down at the bottom, you will see the premium uh, Japanese kit from the 2010-2011 home kit. Uh, that's from that season. So that is it, lads. Five things in five minutes. Let me know if you knew all of these. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.